Today, under the influence, we'll be making cocktail recipes without the recipe. We had each member invite their teammate because today they'll be going head to head in a boozy battle. Team one, we've got Mr. Jerome himself. Hello, yeah, so my name is Jeremy. And he's invited Liam's lunchbox. And this is, what was your name again? <laughs> Liam. We met earlier today. I'm going to Uzbekistan for a hunting trip and I was looking for a crossbow on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Turns out to be this guy. I'm the crossbow guy. I was like, I need somebody for the challenge, so that's why he's here. If you've ever seen this man on TikTok, you know that this team is probably not gonna win. I've never made a drink before. I made ranch water with Wutok once. Do one and a half ounces of tequila. Ranch. Cause it's a ranch water. But it was just ranch and tequila. Yeah. So how you like the crossbow? Team two, Esther has invited Madu. Da, na, 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 na. We're a girly pop. Oh, I'm scared. I'm fine. Esther actually was a bartender, so I'm gonna say that this would have been my favorite to win this. But one time I watched Maru push a pull door and then just stand there after it didn't work, so I don't know if they're gonna win either. <laughs> <laughs> Last and least. I'm Nick. My name is Vit Trap. And we are the fuck <laughs> Vit is the only person I know that's let cereal go bad. So uh, let's see what they come up with. I'm Nick. I'm Vit Trap. And we are the Bacardi Boys. Today's competition will go in two rounds. Round one, each team will have to make two classic cocktails, the Paloma and the Old Fashioned. Round two will be a little more challenging because we're gonna have them make their own cocktail recipe and I'm gonna be forcing on them some mystery ingredients. Oh. That's the one I didn't want. I actually did not want to give me another one. Okay, I'm scared, I'm nervous. Oh, it's me too. This is simple syrup. What's simple syrup, Nick? Syrup that's simple. <laughs> I knew well, you were saying. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna say that. I knew you were saying. Let's start with a Paloma. One of my favorite cocktails uses tequila. We're going to need two ounces of a Blanco tequila. The next most important ingredient is grapefruit juice. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of that. Almost all sweet cocktails need citrus, and not just the grapefruit kind. You need something sour like lime juice. We're gonna do a half an ounce of that, and to sweeten it just a little bit, simple syrup, half an ounce. Scoop of ice. And this is the most important part of a Paloma, is making sure that they shake it. A lot of people that don't know how to bartend shake the wrong drinks and stir the wrong drinks, so this is where I'm gonna be watching for in the competition. Choice of glassware is also gonna be important. You want a tall glass for a Paloma, not this choke one. And this is where you can get extra points. Notice that I'm straining my cocktail into a glass with no ice. So once you've poured into a glass with no ice, we're gonna add club soda. You're gonna add club soda so that it's properly mixed without you having to stir again. More ice. Ideally, you want enough ice that it's filling almost the whole glass. Too little ice and it'll melt really fast, make it a bad drink. So I'll be judging for that as well. And then for garnish, a lime wheel. First drink that you have to make is the Paloma. I have this a lot. It's the Paloma. Oh, fudge nuggets. Oh, the Paloma. Yes. I have no idea what a Paloma is. Okay. okay. You have five minutes. Let's do it. Time minute. starts now. Okay, go. Do, right. do we know what these are called? Uh, nipple. nipple suckers. Nipple suckers. Okay, what about this? Like a big ass spoon. A Paloma press. This Whoa. is a very important material. This is how you make a Paloma. First, you get the cup. So you can get these tools at barchemistry.com. I swear to God, it's tequila. Get tequila. <laughs> What's tequila? L liquor? It's we got grapefruit, grapefruit right here. Paloma in Spanish means racehorse. No, no, it's a racing dog. It's a greyhound. Paloma's like a greyhound. There's definitely grapefruit in it. There's definitely grapefruit. Get the tequila, dude. Dude, I'm trying. Two shots of vodka. Okay. Honestly, I said I'm just gonna follow you because you bartended before. Girl, I bartended, but I didn't know what the f I was doing. What oh, the f Does a Paloma have an orange? So this is an orange. I thought it could have been a grapefruit. I'm doing this. Grenadine. I'm gonna go with, what is this? Three fourth ounce of grenadine. There's like orange juice in it. You don't know what Paloma is? No. I used to be a bartender, right? Whenever someone would be like, oh, can I get a Cosmo? I'd be like, we don't have that. And they'd be like, what about that? And I'd be like, I'm not allowed to touch it. But maybe it's tequila because it's Spanish. S Spanish? Paloma. Oh. I've been telling customers that I was a new worker mm. for like six months. Wait, so we just have to like figure out how to make this without knowing how yeah, to Yeah, no, I, I, I thought they were gonna <laughs> give us some kind of clue. Are there clues? No. No clues, okay, okay. they say no clues. Eyeball it. I'm gonna do a, um, wait, how do you cut a lot? Oh. Excuse me? 
four ounces. Because you want it to taste like grapefruit. Then tequila, I'm gonna put two ounces. He didn't give us ice, he never told us about ice. All right, so first, I think we're gonna start with a vodka. Wait, a vodka? Why are we starting with a vodka? I thought you said tequila. Because it's Spanish. Three minutes, we got three minutes. Why are you doing that? Taste How is that it? Thing. How is it? Oh, so bad. I gotta, you, I gotta taste it. Oh, frothy. I'm not gonna lie, that might be close. Can you okay. cut up like a lemon, like in a cute circle maybe? I'm gonna go with, I don't know oh. this word. I'm going with this, aromatic. Does that look like a shot? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that looks, pour it back. Let's use it. Is that, is that cute? Oh girl, that is the best thing. Mmm, <laughs> worst high pour I've ever seen. I think I made it worse. Oh, that's bad. Dude. I think I made it worse. Like this? Yeah, there we go. Oh my God, I feel so professional, like. I think you put too much. No, I'm Hispanic. They don't use measuring cups, so you just eye it. One minute, 30 seconds. Mix it again, mix it again, mix it again, mix it again. You gotta drink a shot first to make sure it's good though. That is true. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Look at that. One shot of this. And I think this for sure has grapefruit. There's two shots of this. <laughs> you know, I just see bartenders do this all the time. I'm gonna cut this uh, orange here. You know what, dude? We're oh, missing. Oh, we gotta pick a glass. Pick a glass. Oh, I always get it in this glass. I know it's this glass. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bro. One uh, simple syrup. A little bit more. I need just this eyeball it. a little uh, sweet. No, like simple syrup. Right. We're, we're missing okay, simple syrup. It. This much, because I like it sweet. <laughs> yeah, you like it? Is that good? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> Where's the glitter? Oh, the glitter gold yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah dump, just rub hand. it on the rim. Hold it in your hand and I'll, <laughs> and I'll rub it in your hand. <laughs> Nice, cute. Wait, we'll that looks really one. good. Mm -hmm. Time! Did yeah. I do something? That's good. This, this might right? be the best damn Paloma I've ever had in my life. Wait, 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 let's put like a slot. Five, let's four, 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 three, four, three, two, That's one. For a day out on the racetrack, betting on dogs, you got the Paloma. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And that is how you make a Paloma. That looks good. Okay, okay. You're a chef! <laughs> I almost fell over. All right, so being judged on three categories, your technique for how you made the drink, appearance, 10, and the taste. So for technique, I score you a one. What the hell? The oh. Measurements were completely wrong. But he hit it with his elbow. Can we at least get a two? That's style. <laughs> I'll, bump you to, I'll bump you to two <laughs> for the <laughs> elbow bump. Honestly, you used all the right ingredients. You lose points for not measuring anything. You're yeah. gonna get a five out of 10. Out of what? Five out of 10. Out of ten. <laughs> I'm giving you a two out of ten. I'm sure. I'm sure you know why. Wait, wait, why? Dang. Man, you ain't do that shit right. Presentation. This looks nothing like a Paloma. It's not even the right color. Two out of ten. Not the right color. Wrong glass. And the stars look like. Shit. Well, this f***ing competition is rigged. Appearance. You're gonna get a nine out of ten because the only thing that is failed about it is that you used a lemon instead of a lime. Oh. oh. Damn. Appearance wise, a Paloma is supposed to be light pink. Have you ever seen? Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. For the grapefruit. This is red. No, that's pink. What? Oh, you're bugging, that's pink. Comment down below, is this red or pink? You're gonna get a four out of 10 for appearance. Your last rating will be on taste. We better get a 10. Taste accuracy, because this is a classic oh. cocktail, so there's a way it's supposed to taste. Oh my God. It tastes nothing like a Paloma, but you got a couple of the ingredients, right? So for accuracy, I'll score you a four out of 10. Oh, refreshing. So good, huh? Honestly, it does taste pretty good. Is that fucking hair? What is that? Oh, no, that's the ice, dude. The ice? It's, it's the shadow. All right, so they had a 9 out of 10 for the taste, but there's a hair in there. It's like a little tiny speckle. Okay. No, did you? Well, regardless, the hair didn't really affect the taste that much. And honestly, this, this tastes pretty good. I'm going to give this an 8. You're going to like that. Let it sit in your mouth a little bit. I don't know. Second sip. Second sip. It doesn't taste like a Paloma because you put like... 55 ingredients, it doesn't- But? Taste. It tastes like orange juice, like completely. <laughs> so it's not bad? It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste like a Paloma, so I'm gonna give you a four out of 10. Work with me. Work with me, chef. You're so pretty. <laughs> you always have All the right, best guitar. Hey! hey! That's like a five. This classic is the old fashioned. Oh yeah. Oh! I don't know what's in it. So you got it. I don't really know either. No, but before we do that, we have to Imagine. take Super Bonsai. I'm currently taking Super Bonsai, Super Recovery 
for a super recovery um, with Super Bonsai. Eight natural ingredients formulated to, to, to. <laughs> And no weird aftertaste. Find it in your local Hawaiian markets. Every, everywhere by order. Super Bonsai. Tell your grandmothers about it, your grandfathers. Tell your alcoholics, tell the crackheads down the street. Salud. So you may be skeptical. If you could just stop hangovers with three pills, why doesn't everyone take this always? And it's simply cause the West is late to the game. All over Asia, every single store that sells alcohol sells hangover pills and drinks. And it's because of our main ingredient, DHM. It's extracted from vine tea and it helps you process out the toxins made by alcohol much faster than you naturally would. It's completely natural, used in Asian medicines for liver healing and hangover remedies for thousands of years. And we're bringing this magic to the West. Whoa! Yes. Yeah. This isn't 24 hours anymore. Uh, gotcha. Uh, we're finishing up. It closed out. Your third challenge is going to be something more creative. So you have to come up with an original cocktail. You're going to be given one nectar flavor, and you're going to have a mystery ingredient that I'm going to give you right now. And you must use both in your cocktail. Your mystery ingredient is going to be muscle milk. I feel like you guys are pretty good, so I think you can use bone broth. Oh, fuck. That's the one I didn't want. I actually did not want to give me another one. Okay, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Since we're boys, I got yeah. you. <laughs> you got oh. ranch. No. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Bone broth. Your nectar flavor. <laughs> Asian pear. Your flavor will be passion fruit, orange, guava. I'm gonna give you lychee. Oh, my favorite. And you have uh, five minutes. As you guys know, Wutok's got his supplement company. Eight natural ingredients to tackle every part of your hangover. And the drink that we came up with is eight natural ingredients to have a good night. We're gonna call it the super fun time. Starting now. Bone broth AMF. Listen to me, when, just let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. I'm thinking vanilla is better. I'm gonna do this cow pico. Tequila? Tequila. Let's go in the fruity direction. Fruity direction, okay, ranch. So... <laughs> okay, dude, just start cooking. <laughs> just start cooking, just start cooking, just start cooking. Then we can make a green. Oh, can we just switch that up in the green? Yes. Let's use a cuter glass. This one? Look at two. Hey, I'm just gonna do a smidge of the ranch. Ugh. Just a little smidge right there. That's way too... Nick! No, 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 just trust me. Taste that. that. How do you dude, open that this? gross. Go get something else, go do something else. <laughs> I want it to be thicker, so I'm gonna put a little bit of simple syrup for the rim, just because hopefully this works as planned. Cause I don't know how the pop rocks are gonna stick. We talk, I swear to God, this drink's gonna have you curing COVID, bro. Think Tequila? There's something moving in there. Huh? It's cream in Yeah, just drop it in, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, 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 should I? What goes well with bone broth? I never had it before. What about cranberry juice? No, we got, let's take our time. Well, what let's do you think, what do you think, apple juice? Let me let me think. You're just well, you, taste it, dude. You talk too much. Sorry, I'm sorry. Shut I'm up sorry, for I'm a sorry, minute. Sorry, I talk and I get nervous. Let's start off with one ounce. Are of... we gonna put fruit in it? Yeah. Which oh, one? you're right. Hey, open this, and we're gonna top it off with that. Fill this with ice. Fill this with ice. Oh, and rim, rim it. Oh yeah, rim it first. I might have done something. No, 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 wait, 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 hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Can you cut the strawberries yeah. into like uh, smaller pieces? Okay, vanilla, we're gonna do one ounce of that as well. Mm, mm, mm. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. What the f dude. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Stop. Oh, <sighs> Nectar hard seltzer, this is my favorite flavor. Put it in here. Use this to like Got smash it. it. Smash everything really well. Oh, this is so funny. Get some hand flavored ice. Do you have a bite? Okay, okay, okay. Oh. I forgot there was co Coke in there. <laughs> oh, nice. That actually looks good. Oh, fill it with ice. Shh. That actually looks horrible. Try that, bro. Oh. Tell me I'm tripping. Oh, we can add more. All right, here we go. And then, wait, 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 let me top it off. And then we're gonna top the rest off with yes. nectar. Well, let's measure it. That's not even measured, you just fill it to the town. Pour this on top. Ooh, that's Boom. pretty. Oh, 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 watch this, watch this. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That. <gasps> that's so pretty. Oh, that's cute. This is so cute. Yay, okay. time. Oh my God. Yay. Literally, that's cute. Look at that. Imagine it tastes like shit. Do the trick where you pour it down this thing. Oh, shit. Is it working? Oh, yeah, it no. worked a little bit. This right here is the super fun time. The meat grinder. Oh, fire. 
Chefs. I know it looks like that, but it tastes good. So this is the messiest bar station I've ever seen. I like that you rimmed it with Pop Rocks though. I'm realizing now that I have to taste it, like the weird ingredients I'm making. <laughs> like wow. Merry Christmas. Appearance wise, there's nothing with strawberry in the drink, but there's a strawberry for garnish. Is strawberry grenadine not a strawberry, sir? Grenadine is a pomegranate syrup. They're and in the pomegranates same. Pomegranates and, and strawberries the same. They're, they're in the same family, sir. They're what, cousins. What family is that? <laughs> The strawberry family. What are you? An idiot strawberry. You're an idiot cocktail. What are you? <laughs> an idiot cocktail. For appearance, a seven out of 10. Hey. Okay. Because it looks pretty good. Appearance. You've got ice in the martini glass. Oh, I knew that wasn't a thing. <laughs> it was not a thing. It looks like literal sh water though. But that's why it's called the meat grinder though. I'm gonna give the appearance a three out of 10. That's being very generous. Point four. System. I'll give you four. Thank you. I'll take Let's four. Let's go, baby. I'll take four. I'll take four. Easy. I'm such a for these ratings. Uh, appearance, I'm gonna give you, I'll give you a four out of 10 because I like that you rimmed the glass and I like that you gave it a little gradient, but the colors are all random. I don't know if it was very creative. No. I'll give you a five out of 10 for creativity. Love the Pop Rocks. And I felt like you tried to use something to make the ranch taste better. You get a five out of 10. This guy is so harsh. I'm gonna give you a one because- What? Let's, let's go with taste. Taste is the most important part. So I'm gonna get your rim. Ooh. Oh, that was only on the inside of the glass. That was our intent, sir. Ah, I like that. Whoa. That is strangely delicious. I <laughs> but anyways, that was surprisingly good. So <laughs> I'm gonna give you an eight. Oh! 5.5 for the super fun time. Can you and you know, I'm gonna bump it to a six because you used super bonsai in the name. I like that I can hear it. It's a very audible drink. Whoa. It is wow. <laughs> it's pretty good. Really? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> We're beasts at this. I'm gonna give him an eight for taste. It tastes pretty good. Oh, you like it. Ah, uh, you, oh, like, you it. like it. You like it. Don't lie to me. Don't lie. It literally just tastes like cow pico and Asian pear nectar, so it doesn't taste bad. But I don't taste any of the bone broth like I'm supposed to, so you just masked the main flavor. No, 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 it's in there. I'm gonna give that a seven. Seven out of ten. I'll take a seven out of ten. What about eight? What do we think about eight? These are the kids that your mom is like, don't hang out with them. Because like they're, they're satisfied with seven out of tens. Like what the f is that? Get out of my kitchen. How can you clean? Wait, wait, clean first. Yes. Yes, chef. Chefs? <laughs> Something's funny to you, chef? He left. I'm laughing at his left. At ease. <laughs> Some of you did very well, and I was very impressed. Some of you, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Exactly as I expected. Not you, motherfuckers. Don't say thank you. There can only be one winner, and more importantly, one loser. Jeremy there cheated. Is. Jeremy cheated. You looked up drinks, how to make drinks. You've been training. There's only a punishment for the loser. There's no really winning rewards except bragging rights. We'll bring a crown for that person to wear during the next podcast. But anyways, Esther and Madhu Gurley Pop are the winners. <laughs> what? 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 Every drink, they're the only ones that really made good drinks. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna say thank you for voting for us, but no, it was just you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Wu Talk. We deserve this. Y'all are losers. Thank you, Mom, for believing in me always. Thank you, Wu Talk, for this opportunity to be a professional bartender. Hey, did you pee your pants? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, the team that was so shockingly bad. Very clear loser here. Vit and Nick. Oh. A, a party boy. This is rigged. Your punishment, yours, because you're not on our podcast, like, really? Thank you, appreciate you. Yep, so you're safe. Okay. But you... You don't get to hold this. Okay. We're gonna buy you a baby costume. You have to wear the baby costume in the next podcast. Uh, like a diaper? Yeah. <laughs> I have to wear a diaper? <laughs> we'll talk, had it out for us. Plain and simple. I think we did good. Bacardi boys. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe if you like this video and you want to see it done with other people. Comment down below who we should invite. Pan the camera over there. Pan the camera over there. And if you want to see the raw, uncut versions where Vit and Nick actually make out, you guys subscribe to our bonus content platform. And as always, supporting the product supports the show. Thank you guys. Love you.